I say I do apologise for the sound on the last couple of videos. I had the the, the phone in, wedged in a cup, and unfortunately the uh, a bit of an echo chamber going down there. So I do apologise for that. There's a little bit of a mishap on my behalf, but there we go. I have to hold it in my hand, but then I can't do my uh, apex cage with only one hand. You see, so I've disabled myself as a speaker. But never mind. I'm still talking the same shite, so it doesn't really matter, does it? So getting back to the French Revolution. And the people that were in in the uh, in the country were the biggest threat to the monarchy, and this has happened. We've seen this happen across Europe. We've seen uh, monarchies uh, removed <laughs> for one reason or another, genuinely, normally by their own people, and this is why the the the, the governments uh, have to be very aware, especially where you've got a monarchy that's surviving, like in Britain. Now, I am actually a monarchist. I have actually stated I've made videos in the past. And, um, but I am a borderline monarchist, you know, and it's, 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 if this is a revolutionary and this is a monarchist, um, I'm, I'm only just over the mark. And uh, when I told you when they, when they, when they killed Diana, or because uh, we'll never prove whether Diana was killed or not. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist, okay? I've got to ask myself was one question is it possible that they may have bombed her off or not? Mm, the answer is yes, they probably did. And I don't know for a fact, but, uh, you know, that was my all-time low point. And I think if I was going to become a Republican, it would have been then. But as I said, I'm, I'm still of the opinion that, that William and Kate will make a really good um, king and queen. And I think I've got high hopes for them. So I am actually still a monarchist, although I'm, I'm only... only um, a hair-trigger monarchist. I could very easily become a Republican. For sure. So, as as the country is looking into itself, right, it's it's the biggest problem. As I said, the, the, the security of the monarchy really relies on the people. Because if the people decide one day that they don't want the monarchy anymore, sick of them, sick and tired of them, things can change. I mean, we don't have revolutions anymore. We have referendums, you know, and uh, people kick off and kick off. They'll, okay, we'll have a referendum, and then uh, the decisions are made. After that, so you've got to keep the people sweet. In other words, you've got to, you've got to um, brainwash them. Propaganda, they call it in Nazi Germany. So it's very important to brainwash the people, and uh, they do this through the social media, through media mainly, the, the television, and uh, they tell you what to think and what to do. And you've got two kinds of um, intelligence services as well. You've got MI6 which is like James Bond, and you've seen, you've seen Babylon on the Thames there. And this is where all the spies, the brave heroes, and the Aston Martins, and, that, and they go off around the world, because MI6 looks at the whole of the rest of the world, they're associated with the Foreign Office, and they're looking at the rest of the world, weighing up security. And then you've got MI5. Now, MI5 are completely different. They look inside, they look at internal threats, they're looking at people, they're monitoring social media, they're looking at all these horrible cons around who are stirring shit up for, for, because they don't want anyone stirring anything up that can in any way affect the monarchy. So this is how it works. You know, you think when you've got your mobile phone and you, you've got your Facebook blog and things and you, you think you're not being watched, but you are. You are definitely being watched. So if you have any thoughts on... on um, uprisings and, <laughs> and revolution don't do it on social media okay because it's not going to work they're going to get a knock on the door they're going to punch you in the face and drag you off with a bag on your head and you're going to disappear into a hole in the ground okay that's the difference between mi5 and mi6 and mi5 also have a special branch in the police special branch are people who look inwards at inward threats from within MI6 are looking at threats from outside.